welcome back to Candy's Classic Game Shrine, everyone. Today, I'm going to be giving you the long-awaited tour of my gaming shrine. As of right now, uh, a lot has changed, and many of you have asked if you can take a peek of what it's like, and here it is. This is just a quick pan of the entire room. That's the quote-unquote shrine. Most of my consoles are in there. I have since brought my amiibo upstairs, so they are taking up quite a bit of room as well. Uh, my Pokemon shelf, eh, I did a little bit of rearranging, but nothing too serious. So without further ado, let's get really in depth with this. Here is my latest amiibo display. This is made after the Yoshi's Woolly World. I guess, cover slash entire game. Uh, everything is handmade here without, well, or rather with the exception of the Yoshi amiibo, those I did not make, and the Poochie was handmade but by someone else. Everything else here though was me. Uh, I got this cute little laughing Mew. It's from the I Love Mew collection. It's apparently hard to find, but I love it! Uh, there's my missing no perler bead art, uh, a couple Mew cards, here's a custom amiibo that I made, I'll get to that in depth in another video. There's my dog. Uh, there's another amiibo display for Chibi Robo. You know, more Pokemon stuff. This is uh, something I made after a Mega Mew idea that I came up with. Uh, I have the picture floating around somewhere. There's my substitute doll, my uh, Charizard Matroshkas, or nesting dolls for those of you that don't know the names. My Halloween Pikachu, and I can't pronounce that other Pokemon. Uh, Disney? I don't know. It's cute. Here's my Japanese Pokemon game collection. Um, it's hard to see, but the second trading card game is there. It's right on top. It didn't come out in the US, only Japan. I don't know how to play it, but I have it. This is the poster from, uh, I think it was Pokemon 20th Anniversary. Can't quite remember. It's been a while. This is a shadow box that I made. Uh, you're going to notice that there's a little piece there that's missing. That was uh, my Pikachu walker that's over here. Um, I'll probably replace it with something else, but for now it's just an empty space. Uh, there's a 20th Anniversary Mew plush. My friend Stephanie helped me get that. And these are my US release Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, DS, and so on games with both of my Poke Walkers. This is going into the shrine now. These are the ceilings. I try to keep them decorated because otherwise it would feel really empty. And it's the best I can do with the slanted ceiling space. A lot of these are promotional posters from pre-orders or going to Nintendo World, which is now known as Nintendo New York. Don't know why they had to do that. More of my Perler Beat art from some of my favorite video games. You got Kirby, Pac-Man, Lolo, Space Invaders. You'll see Duck Hunt is here as well. There's the dog laughing at you because you can't shoot the ducks. An Atari hat. A giant Mario AR card for the uh, 3DS. I got this from Club Nintendo. Um, a Discoon <coughs> that I made. My dog barking and scaring me. <laughs> and a Legend of Zelda map of Hyrule. This is one of my other amiibo displays for the Animal Crossing. There's my Shovel Knight display, which lights up, by the way. And the cream of the crop, my NES TV. Along with my Duck Hunt lamp that I made. That's my husband's steering wheel stuff. But uh, that box is my Beanie Babies, and this is my Miracle Piano. Good times. This is how I do my wire setup. I take bread clips and attach them to the wires and label them for what system or TV or device that it's powering. It saves me so much trouble. And there's my Genesis and my Game Gear and my EverDrives for the respective systems. And here's the panning of the ceiling on this side again. 
you can see that I have some Mega Man pictures and Yoshi's Woolly World poster, which is my favorite. And here's the bottom half of the shrine. I'll give you a little quick look on top again. But here are all the consoles and both TVs and my container where I keep my controllers and my chargers. And that's my Pokemon hat that I made for Comic-Con a couple years ago. Here is my Virtual Boy Corner, and I guess some Amiibo too. Um, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory here. I have my regular Virtual Boy and my Virtual Girl. Um, and some more Perler Bead art. Some of it was bought, some of it was made. My Amiibo stand, which I made. And that's about it here. This is my handheld collection. Um, you'll notice that the new 3DS, the small one's missing, and that's because it was in my pocket. Um, I have pretty much everything here. I have everything including the Game Boy Light even. I have both models of the pocket, one with the LED and one without. And this is where you see me working on my consoles half the time. I've moved my Smash Amiibos up here. There's my DS that I was just talking about. Uh, I still am missing the final three, as are most people but this is going to hold them all. And that's my husband's Elite Controller, our DK2 Oculus, and an awesome little figure of Nemesis, and just some random other things. Da -na -na -na. My dog needs to learn to hush. But yeah, this is pretty much it, guys. This is the shrine as of right now.